On October 13th, SpaceX achieved a major milestone in space exploration as its massive 400-foot-tall Starship rocket took to the skies for the fifth time. The launch, which took place at the SpaceX Starbase site in South Texas, lifted off at 8.25 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This mission was not just another routine test. It aimed to showcase a groundbreaking maneuver that could redefine space travel. SpaceX's goal was ambitious to return the enormous first-stage booster called Super Heavy back to its launch site. But instead of using traditional methods, SpaceX planned to catch it with the chopstick arms of the launch tower. And in an unprecedented move, they pulled it off. About seven minutes after liftoff, Super Heavy descended with precision, hovering near the Mechazilla launch tower as the giant metal arms locked it into place. The sight was nothing short of historic. The moment was electrifying, and the reactions were just as explosive. This is absolutely insane! On the first ever attempt, we have successfully caught the Super Heavy Booster back at the launch tower. What an incredible view! Are you kidding me? <laughs> At SpaceX's headquarters in Hawthorne, California, SpaceX manager Kate Tice called the achievement a day for the engineering history books. The excitement in the room was palpable as employees cheered in celebration. SpaceX spokesperson Dan Hewitt, reporting live from the launch site, described the event as magic, and it was easy to see why. But the successful booster catch wasn't the only mission objective for Flight 5. SpaceX also aimed to launch the 165-foot-tall upper stage of Starship, simply referred to as Ship, into space. The plan was to send it on a controlled flight, eventually bringing it back down for a splashdown in the Indian Ocean. Roughly 65 minutes after liftoff, the upper stage executed a controlled burn using three of its six engines, hovering above the ocean before it tipped over and exploded upon impact. This outcome was entirely expected, as SpaceX didn't plan to recover the upper stage for this test. Kate Tice emphasized that this was the ideal conclusion, marking a significant step forward. Elon Musk himself celebrated the achievement, highlighting it as a significant advancement toward making humanity multiplanetary. Big step towards making life multiplanetary was made today, he wrote underscoring the importance of this milestone in SpaceX's broader mission. Starship is being developed with an ambitious goal, to help humanity explore and settle the Moon, Mars, and other distant destinations in our solar system. The vehicle's fully reusable design, demonstrated by the Super Heavy's successful return to its launch mount, is set to revolutionize space travel by drastically reducing turnaround time between flights. With its unparalleled power, Starship is not just a rocket. It's a vehicle that could redefine the future of human space exploration. NASA is already on board with this vision. The agency has chosen Starship to serve as the first crewed lander for its Artemis program, aimed at lunar exploration. If all goes according to plan, Starship will carry NASA astronauts to the moon during the Artemis III mission, which is scheduled for launch in September 2026. To meet these ambitious deadlines, SpaceX continues to develop and refine Starship using its signature approach, test, learn, and improve. Each flight brings significant upgrades, such as the completely reworked heat shield featured in Flight 5. This new thermal protection system, involving over 12,000 hours of work and newer generation tiles, demonstrates the company's commitment to innovation. Despite these achievements, SpaceX faced challenges beyond engineering. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, delayed the launch approval due to additional environmental impact assessments. This unexpected review was necessary because SpaceX had modified both the vehicle configuration and the mission profile for Flight 5. The FAA's in-depth review was a hurdle that SpaceX wasn't pleased about, as it extended the approval timeline beyond their expectations. In a blog post titled, Starships Are Meant to Fly, SpaceX expressed its frustration, 
criticizing the slow regulatory process and the emphasis on environmental reviews over safety concerns. Although the FAA originally estimated that approval wouldn't come until late November, the mission eventually received the green light earlier than expected. Now, with Flight 5 successfully completed, SpaceX is eager to continue pushing forward. Just last month, they conducted a static fire test for the next Starship vehicle, indicating that Flight 6 is already in the pipeline. The company has multiple test missions lined up, and with each one, they're refining the technology that could one day take humanity to new worlds. Looking back at Starship's journey, it's clear how far the program has come. The previous four test flights showcased significant progress, each one building upon the lessons of the last. The debut mission, for instance, only lasted four minutes. SpaceX had to initiate a self-destruct when the two stages of the rocket failed to separate. But fast forward to Flight 4, which took place on June 6th, and the results were drastically different. That mission was a complete success. Starship reached orbital velocity, and both its upper stage and the Super Heavy booster returned safely, hitting their splashdown targets precisely. Flight 5's success wasn't a sudden breakthrough, but rather the result of a series of meticulously planned improvements and tests. SpaceX technicians worked tirelessly to overhaul the heat shield and thermal protection system, adding new generation tiles and extra protective layers. These upgrades were essential to ensuring the rocket could withstand the extreme conditions of launch and re-entry, paving the way for its future missions. While technical issues were addressed, regulatory delays presented another challenge. SpaceX had initially planned to launch Flight 5 in early August, claiming that the rocket was ready from a technical standpoint. However, the FAA's extended environmental reviews meant the launch was pushed back. SpaceX expressed frustration over this delay, arguing that the process of getting approval was taking longer than developing the hardware itself. In their eyes, this not only slowed down progress but also put America's leadership in space exploration at risk. Yet despite these hurdles, SpaceX remains focused on its mission. The company is not just preparing for the next launch, but for a series of ongoing test missions designed to refine and perfect Starship's capabilities. The recent static fire test with the Flight 6 vehicle is proof that they're moving forward at full speed. With multiple Starships already built and ready for testing, SpaceX is eager to keep up its momentum and push the boundaries of space travel further. As SpaceX continues its testing, the company's vision for Starship becomes more ambitious with each flight. The ultimate goal is not just to reach Mars, but to establish a sustainable human presence on other planets. To achieve this, SpaceX is building a fleet of starships that will be fully reusable, reducing the cost of space travel significantly. This reusability, combined with Starship's immense payload capacity, is designed to support missions to the Moon, Mars, and even beyond. Starship's future is also tied to NASA's Artemis program, a critical part of humanity's return to the lunar surface. NASA's selection of Starship as the crewed lander for Artemis 3 underscores the faith the agency has in SpaceX's capabilities. If successful, Starship will be the vehicle that lands astronauts on the moon for the first time since the Apollo missions, opening up opportunities for lunar exploration and the establishment of a permanent base. SpaceX's rapid testing and development strategy has become a hallmark of the company's approach. By quickly iterating, testing, and learning from each flight, SpaceX aims to optimize Starship's design and performance in record time. Flight 5, with its upgraded heat shield and other advancements, demonstrated the effectiveness of this strategy. The vehicle has evolved dramatically from its initial prototypes, and with each test, SpaceX is closing the gap between testing and operational missions. However, the road ahead is not without its challenges. Regulatory delays, such as those experienced with the FAA's extended review process, are one hurdle. SpaceX continues to advocate for faster approval processes, arguing that these delays hinder technological advancement and space industry progress. Despite these frustrations, SpaceX's commitment to testing remains unwavering, as evidenced by their continued work on Flight 6 and future missions in the pipeline. The sky is no longer the limit. It's just the beginning. So, if you're as excited as we are about the future of space travel, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking missions.
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, right here on Future Until.